single leg pow off press. We're gonna go through a whole bunch of progressions here shortly, but let's first talk about our setup. We have a resistance band that's anchored to our squat rack about shoulder height. I actually prefer a cable machine, but a lot of cable machines, especially commercial settings, don't have like that therapeutic um, ability to like lower into like a couple pounds. So if you have a way to use a cable pump that only has a couple pounds, that's um, use that because that's where most people are gonna benefit. On a resistance band, as I rotate, obviously when I pull and stretch the band, there's more resistance. I would rather have you know, the same resistance through a range of motion versus a variable resistance. So the first place to start is making sure I'm in line with my attachment point, not being in front of it and not being behind it. We wanna have right angles um, for our setup point. So I'm gonna start with my right leg. Hands are gonna be laced together. My opposite or contralateral leg, hips are gonna be flexed where my thigh is parallel with the floor. And then my stance leg, my knee's gonna be locked up. Hands are at my chest, I'm gonna reach out and in, nice and slow and controlled, making sure I'm not reaching down, but straight out. And then I would switch to the opposite side and do the same thing, okay? Keeping that thigh parallel to the floor, trying to resist the rotation that's happening at my foot and at my hip. So that's the most basic form of single leg pal off for us. Now what we can do there is we can add internal and external rotation of our pelvis where everything else is fixed and my hip is the one that's forcing me into internal and external rotation and I'm seeking up some of the intrinsic muscles and extrinsic muscles of my foot at the same time. So what that would look like is like so. So I'm in this position, okay, hands are out and then I'm trying to, so however far my hands rotate, my knee matches that. A lot of people will do this or they'll do just this. This is trunk rotation, not hip, right? And then this one is a little bit of hip rotation, but everything's not moving together, so there's not a ton of load that's going into my hip joint. So what I want that to look like is thigh at 90, arms out in front of you, however far the knee goes, my hands go, that's external, and then coming across my body is internal. So you can see there, there's slack in the resistance band. If this is a cable, it's a little bit easier to set up because it can pull you into more internal rotation. Because the problem being, if I scoot out with my resistance band, so it pulls me in further into internal rotation, now I have a ton of resistance going into external rotation and it becomes a little bit too hard. We can make it work, but like I said, the cable column works a little bit better. So that would be internal and external rotation, and then I would stand on the opposite foot and do the same thing to where I'm focusing on internal rotation and then external rotation, and then coming across internal, then external. Okay, now the third one that we like to do is a little bit of a more dynamic hip flexion, hip extension while holding that. So, I'm on my right leg, arms are straight out in front of me, so I have that like 90 degree angle from my torso to my upper arm. This leg is up at 90, and I'm coming down to like an RDL, back up to that top position. Down to an RDL, back up to that top position. And I would obviously do the right side and the left side. Okay, and then the last piece of the progression is kind of combining all of them. So what you can do is hold that pal off press out in front, legs up at 90, go down to an RDL, open my hip, back to the bottom position, back up to the top. So when we do the RDL, one thing that I want to make obvious is if I look from the side here, when I'm at the top, my stance leg is straight. And as I go down to the RDL, I start to bend this leg just a little bit. But notice I still have that 90 degree angle of my arms relative to my trunk. And then I, as I come back up, I re-straighten that bottom leg. So that's done by design because it allows us to keep a little bit of load into our butt. And you'll notice that the further you bring the off leg up and force the bottom leg into extension, you're gonna feel a little bit more into the glute on the leg that's on the ground which is what we're trying to do. We're trying to sync your foot structure with your glute. So start with the simplest, that'll be depicted on your programming, and then progress through these as able, meaning quality over quantity. The goal is not to get to the most aggressive or the most progressive form as fast as possible. The goal is to get those tissues to sync up to be as strong as possible. And then once your, ability, your body has the ability to, to progress to make it harder over a period,